Good morning, lasers and genitals. Today we are going to take a look at something that was far cheaper than I feel like it should have been. Um, I got one for myself and one for my brother. And we're just going to take a real quick look at this bad boy right here. And this is the Kershaw filter. And, uh... Solid spring assisted open. You got a pretty uh beefy frame lock going on right there. And uh you get a little bit of over 50% engagement with the uh with the lock. I'm not sure how well that shows. Yeah, I don't know if I can get enough light down in there, but this thing fluctuates between 13 and just shy of 20 bucks um, on Amazon and I'll dig the link up for you in case this tickles your fancy um, and let's see I don't remember yeah we got a 1306 BW um, and this is made in China this is probably one of their uh, bottom of the line knives and it came with uh, this box right here. And yeah, the 1306BW is the model. And I don't think there's anything telling you what kind of steel it's made out of in here. That's what I'm going to take a look at now. I haven't actually pulled the uh, paperwork in here out since I've had this. I've had this for a good little while. No, this is just bog standard uh, for pretty much across the board. And it just goes on and on and on about various different things, but it doesn't tell you anything about the composition of this particular knife. So, now the nice thing is there isn't a whole bunch of, let's try to sell you 50 other things since we got you by the teats. And, uh... I like carrying this one. I have carried this quite a bit. I haven't had a lot of opportunities to use it because I haven't been in places where I've needed a knife a whole lot. But, um, because it's very smooth, like, the t there's just barely enough um, uh, of, of a satin finish to, to get a purchase on it and keep it under control. But it's very smooth, which means it lets you put things in your pocket and just kind of slide right across it and uh, it carries very well it carries deep and uh, I mean it looks really good at least in my opinion um, the one thing I can find that could be a complaint is this is probably the least centered blade that I have bought um, you, you can see right there where it's um, completely off to that side right there and the uh, the one thing that I have seen with both of them that I bought is uh, this uh, screw right here is tightened down way too much. So you would engage it and it would open about this far very slowly and stick. And uh, that's frustrating, especially when you expect that. But all you do is take a, a standard Allen wrench. Loosen it up a hair, and it's good to go. This one, I loaded down with Marble 3-in-1 oil, trying to fix it, and then loosened it, so it took a long time to get all that oil back out once it was done. So, uh, for a $13 knife that you can carry and wail on and fit your pockets well, stuff like that, I think it's a win. I definitely like this thing. Um... I'm going to feel bad after I get the first few deep gouges and scratches in it, but once I'm over that, it's going to just be put through it. Um, so yeah, I think this might be 13 bucks right now, but I won't make any guarantees on that because, again, I've seen the price just go up and down like a yo-yo. So uh, if you like it, just keep an eye out and wait. It'll drop. Um, and with that... I thought I would just say Happy New Year's, everybody. Uh, this has been a very interesting year so far. If I remember right, I started the channel like 
earlier this year. Um, actually, I'll have to go back and look. I don't remember exactly when I started, but it has been a very interesting year, especially with the the channel itself because you know I don't I don't have the pull or the influence needed to turn this into a second job right now. Um, it definitely is has been a learning experience. Like many people have said, when you're trying to do a project and record any of it, it takes two three times as long to get anything done. Um. My policy of trying not to do the same thing over and over again on video outside of taking a look at these guys because, you know, a knife a knife review or looking at a knife is looking at a knife. But um, going into the shop and firing up the forge, trying to not do the same thing for two, three, four videos in a row um, has really pushed me to learn how to do much more than I expected to be doing right now. There are things that I still need to learn that I feel like I probably should have picked up a while ago. But, you know, most of what I'm doing right now is kind of me working by myself and occasionally meeting up with somebody else that's also smithing and rubbing antennas and learning a little bit here, learning a little bit there, and then bringing it back to the shop. And, uh, you know, the one that sticks out that I don't really have a good, strong grasp on is making a tongs gotta get the hang of doing that and i've got to get enough of a hang of it to where they are reasonably easy to make i don't have to spend you know half a day working on one pair so uh that's going to be one of the things that i uh, earmark for uh next year and of course as was seen over um the last several months School and other stuff happening means videos will ebb and flow. There'll be like a, an avalanche of videos when there's nothing else going on. And then school hits and I am scrambling to try to keep my posterior covered. Um, we'll definitely slow down the, the influx of videos. And uh, I think one of my early 2019 projects, um, as soon as I get re-up on uh, propane and get everything in the shop uh, cleaned up, is to make an attempt at a solo uh, Damascus hammer billet. If uh, my buddy Michael shows up, we may have a two-man billet where it gets hammered out and uh, the stack gets stuck together and then rotated and twisted and manipulated a bit so that the pattern shows up. But odds are just as good it's going to be me by myself. And as long as I can stick that billet um, on at first blush... I can make it through the rest of it. It just might take a while. So uh, that's the next big thing I have planned. And uh, maybe later today I'll pick up working on that uh, 89 layer Damascus billet and start working on carving everything out. We'll see where the day takes me. Um, domestic duties abound. There are things that I should have taken care of a while ago and haven't. And I'm here. There's nothing else going on. So I got to take care of house stuff first. So, from me to anybody watching, Happy New Year. Uh, celebrate safely tonight. Uh, if you decide to drink, make sure you are where you're going to be for the rest of the night or somebody else is driving. And if you have to drive anywhere tonight, make sure your head is on a swivel. You might not be drinking and driving, but there have been years where I have driven past four or five accidents as they were happening and had to just keep on trucking because I had my own stuff to worry about. <laughs> so if you are out on the roads tonight, be safe. And with that, stay safe in your shops. Praise the forge and pass the borax. I will see y'all next year.